Hello. Welcome back to Wolfsfan TV, and we are going to be speaking about the retainer players for <laughs> this season. That's right, indeed. We have got a live stream tonight, and no doubt that will come into the conversation as yeah. we discuss um, our thoughts on uh, Matt Sadler's appointment as uh, the permanent Warsaw manager. But Stephen is getting the released uh, or the retained list. Retained and released. Uh, I'm going to reel him out to you. Uh, first one released, Liam Kinsella. Released? Yeah. Wow. Now, sometimes they say they're released, but I mean, if they've got. Um, They've already agreed to go somewhere else. They call them released. I think sure. that might be the case. I think the lads we need to have a keen eye out for Swindon. Because I think that's where he's going to be going. Especially <laughs> like be defensive continue. Michael Flynn. That's quite mad to be fair. The thing is, it makes sense that we've got rid of Kinsella. But at the same time, we could have got so much money off him. It's a, it's a shame. For Kins, it's a shame to say goodbye to Kinsella. But, Kinsella. Yeah. but I think it was time, wasn't it? I think. It is it time. time. A it's new sad. room. It's sad, but... It's time to go. And uh, next one on the list, big surprise. This one, nah, not okay. Connor Wilkinson. Yeah, that makes sense. It makes sense. I think with it's his last bit... couple of goals, it was pretty obvious he was going to be going. He knew he was going. I think it's a, it's a shame because he's a good quality striker. But then the effort's not there, and I think by the looks of it, uh, we're getting out all the players who don't put in one hundred percent effort. And, um, Except from Kinsella, so and there's some expensive, there's some expensive yeah, players. Yeah, he's very expensive. Um, Andy Williams has gone. Yeah, but he's old, retired. He's probably. ready to retire, I yeah, think. So makes um, sense. Big surprise when we discussed who we thought should be retained. Um, this guy, I said, I think we should let go, but the popular opinion was to keep him. So Maddox. Maddox is gone. Gone. Yeah, wow. been released. Jacob Maddox. <laughs> Yeah, we're getting rid of everyone, aren't we? <laughs> I'm going to see the youth come through now because we haven't got enough spaces to fill the first team. We haven't got no youth. Um, right. okay. Pete Clark, no surprise. No surprise there, yeah. um, Timmy Abraham, um, it was an interesting idea. But, uh, what? It, it released as well. Released as yeah, well, yeah. That makes sense. Uh, Josh, always ready for a yellow card Labadee. Yes. Um, okay. This one's sense. a surprise, but I think probably because he's already got a deal elsewhere. Manny Month released. Manny Month. There is talk that he's going to Wrexham. Yeah, I know. For big money. So if he's got an offer elsewhere, Warsaw would. Uh, you'd think. You'd think for better PR exercises, we'd say he's off, been offered a contract and he's rejected it. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. You'd think we'd offer him a contract. But if we know he's been offered, if he's already agreed a contract elsewhere, it is a bit pointless. So you'll I'm just release him. It is tough to see him go. Man but Mon, he, he, is, he is a class player. Especially if he has that, he has that experienced head next to him. Yeah. He is a class player. But we'll just have to see how he does at Wrexham. Well, all the Tranmere yeah. fans, when uh, when Walsall were near the top of the table, yeah. or near the playoffs, but, I mean, yeah, yeah. they were saying, oh, best to look in the playoffs if you've got Manny Month playing for you. Because he does give away fouls and that sort of stuff. Um... Well, but okay, let's next just see one. If that benefits us when we play Wrexham. Next, next season, one. So. Pass the tissue. Hayden White released. Really? <laughs> In all fairness, not a surprise. <laughs> one too many yellow cards. Yeah, no. I, I was, think he was very good last season. Very and was, good last season. Um, I can under. It's sad because I think he was he was a good player, but I, I, it's understandable that he's gone. I think he has been a big part of a very defensive, u good defensive, very good unit, defensive unit under yeah. Mike Flynn. Um, but it's fair that he hasn't had a great season and yeah. a lot of yellow cards. And um, if we're going to play more passing positive football, yeah. which we're hoping, hoping. Um, is he the guy? Well, the answer's not. I guess that makes sense. So um, shame, another sad one uh, Sam Perry. Really? Um, it's such a shame, really. Yeah. Um, everybody loves him. He was one of our own. Um, Obviously, the effects of COVID uh, hampered his development, and uh, yeah, sad to see him go. Yeah. Um, Jonas Makuna, he's also been released. He's a player that we're all shocked that we actually got offered a contract because yeah. we saw him in pre season. He didn't look he really didn't anywhere best. near and ready for also, it. Also, he hasn't played like a single game. And he hasn't been anywhere near. So, he didn't even. He hadn't even been playing in the senior cup. That's how far know, behind so. he is. Yeah. So, what that leaves us with. We do have 
um, a team already, or near enough a team already, because we've got some left over. <laughs> um, Joe Folks obviously game. won the uh, league with, um, or got promoted with Kidderminster. Yeah. He's been offered an extension to his deal. What, at Kidderminster? No, at Warsaw. He's a Warsaw player. Yeah. Um, they're in discussions with Taylor Allen, which is a surprise. What, I thought Kidderminster? It's... No, Warsaw. Oh, OK. Too many, too many names, too many teams. <laughs> yeah, Taylor Allen, I'm surprised. I thought he was going to get released, to no, be honest. No, I, I think it makes sense to keep him. because, <clears throat> Well, now that we have Jamil Mack, do we have Stevens yet? Or was that Stevens a is a loan and he's gone back. OK. So um, all the loan players have gone back. Uh, yeah. Jack Ehring is currently injured. He's been offered a short-term contract. Last see whether he can get the, fit. Yeah. Um, marvellous, marvellous Al Arno Bikerin. He's uh, been offered his first pro contract. Oh. Um, doesn't look like Shay Willock has at this stage. All the words are he's being released as well, which is um, disappointing. Very disappointing for a player, yeah. albeit level nine, who's scored fourteen goals. Yeah. Um, but he featured thought... recently in the LFE trials for release scholars, and um, scored two goals in that game. So he's a de- he's a goal scorer. Well, someone's um, going to get lucky. Warsaw, that's what I'm saying. Warsaw are going to regret it if they let him just walk away. For me, yeah. But um, as I say, next season we have a bit of a team together. We've got a keeper, Owen Evans, <laughs> um, Royley right back, perhaps Daniels and Rowling. Forgot about Rowling. He really Rowling is back, um, with Gordon left. Would we want to go into next season with Rowling and Daniels? I think mm, not. <laughs> maybe not. But I think I think it's one to see what happens because Rowling. He's not. He's probably a good backup, he, isn't he? He's a well, yeah. He's he's a good backup, and I think he can be a decent player with an experienced head next to him. I think he's a bit like Manny Monk, but just a lot quicker. Okay. I say that like I compare them both <laughs> to, but you know I think an experienced head next to him he could be. Possibly. Player, so. Um Alshin McKenty, um he's a uh, few get a couple of games playing in the centre midfield. Looks good. Yeah, um so players. him and uh, Comley in the middle. Um seems... Tommy Knowles on the right wing, Hutch yeah. on the left, with uh, Jamil Matt up front. But that leaves one gap. One. And um, we've got Ram is obviously uh, pushing for first team as well. Yeah. Marv, I don't think he's ready for first team just yet. Maybe pre-season. So we definitely need a striker. What we, and, need, um, what we need is a fast little nimble striker to go with Jamil Matt. And there's only one person I can think of. Danny Johnson. No, Danny Johnson. Danny Johnson. Danny Johnson. Don't get up. It's a joke. <laughs> it's not going to happen. I'm saying well, you know, know. getting back from Barrow. The thing is, you look at the team of we've got left now. You've got Donovan Daniels and Jamil Matt. Two experienced heads. Yeah. But other than that, it's a very young team. It is. So uh, we need some experience in there, as I we think do we need... with the management team. Yeah. So hopefully... I think an experienced midfielder. Yeah. Well, I think we'll pretty much just round it off. Because you've got the experience from Jamal Matt up front. Experience yeah. from defence, Donovan Daniels, and Matt Sadler, I guess. So I think we just need to wait and see what midfielders we bring yeah. in. What but I think with, with the players that have been released, there was some on really big salaries, like... Um, Connor Wilkinson especially on yeah. very good money um, so that does free up budget it does. Um, are we going to get we're going to get some exciting wingers well I mean and, uh, we can stop with bringing Brendan Keenan back <laughs> Brendan Keenan or Wes McDonald I think Brendan Keenan's uh, gone isn't he now yeah, Wes McDonald they're both, they're both gone I'm doing, yeah. doing well so that's it Tom Knowles is Tom Knowles going to be our front man alongside he, Jamil Matt he could be I'm not so sure. I'm um, not so sure. It's looking interesting. But um, we're all getting ready tonight. The uh, the big chat about uh, Matt Sadler. So that's on at half past seven. So that'll be up later. So uh, we'll call it for now. And uh, we'll uh, see you later. Thank you. Enjoy the pain. Indeed. Cheers.